Music is from God. Worship and dance belongs to God. And the devil was in charge of it in heaven. And till that day that God kicked him down, people in the world tried to take it from us, but we take it back. Amen? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Chief. Hema. Uh, uh, Rajkumar. Hema, Hema Gajula. Uh, Hema Gajula. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. Prophet is going to bring the word this morning. things like fear. The darkness represents things like deception. The darkness represents things like, well, I don't know, lies, deception, all that. The darkness represents evil. So whenever you turn to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Sometimes you, you may want to dance and there is a veil of religiousness upon you. And you want to dance, you'll be sitting there and say, I want to dance now. But something will tell you, no, don't want to dance. If you go and dance, you might degrade yourself. You, you might look small, you know. 
But let me tell you, that's one of the plan and that's one of his trick of the devil. So, God want to take away the veil of religiousness from you. So that you can, you can say, you know what, I am free. You see, again, I would make mention, before we was in Christ, and if we go somewhere, it was not too hard for us to start a shape or dance. It wasn't too hard. But Satan want to use that against you and say, no, you are in church, so it must be like a smoke ring. It must be stiff like a smoke ring, and it's only then you could go to heaven. Let me tell you, I read my Bible, and the Bible talks about David dance out the clothes. But we encourage nobody in this church to dance out the clothes. Keep your clothes on. Right? Read on. Which where the Lord is the Spirit. Go ahead. Now the Lord is the Spirit. And, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. No. The Lord is a Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. I don't have to ask, but I know. And not only I know, everybody else here know. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. Who is that? Who are the church? We are the church. We are the church. And the Spirit of God is upon every one of you. And there's freedom. But you know what? God gave you that freedom. But the hardest thing for the human being to do is to make that first step. You know the first step? Once you make that first step, God is going to help you to make that second step. Some of we might say, well, that's not my thing. You ever see somebody go to watch carnival? Mass? And they say dancing is not the thing. Let me tell you, they go two coolers and they go on this on the sand and the cooler in front of them, dancing is still the thing. Because you see, once Satan is in control, he will control you and he will tell you what to dance towards. But when God takes control, Satan is still trying to take control and tell you why you should not for the Lord. Think about it, you be your own judge. Think about before you was a Christian, before, well, I shouldn't say before you was a Christian, before you have start getting serious with God and start going to church and all that. Because some of us, our parents come from Christianity, so when they're in school, they ask, what is your religious base or your religion or something? You mark Christian, you mark whatever, you know? So we can always say, we were always Christian, but I want to ask a question differently. Since we got serious with God, we have to realize that change is coming in our life. And I want to let people know something. One must not try to hold back the next. You know, for years I've been dancing and preaching, and I feel that that helped me in my growth with God. And I've been trying to get prophets to dance for years. Over six, seven years. But God, but God. Amen. But God. I remember he my here because my was here. How long is it going to be before you start to dance? About three years. Three years? Yeah. So after three years? Yes, we're all afraid and shy. So. And after three years? Then eventually. Because I was, I was afraid. And after three years, he must start to dance. Thank God, God used Giselle. God will use everybody in whatever way to pull out somebody 
Because sometimes we stuck on this and we stuck on that and we stuck on that. And then a lot of times people don't know what is it really to enjoy Christianity or freedom. The word of God says enjoy your freedom, but do not use your freedom to sin. Enjoy your freedom. Jesus died to give you freedom. So after three years, he must have dance. Because when I see him, I say, come and he and I will not want to dance. I say, say Lord, I want these people to be free. The music playing and everything. And I remember sometime, like a pastor told me, he said one time he went and preached. And when he came down the road with this car, they, they was having a, you know, they was promoting a promo, I call it, I call it a promo. They was promoting a beer is like a herb. So he said he was coming to the guy going on the bridge. And he had a beer is like a herb. He next on the rock and he started going like that. A beer is like a herb. He said, when he catch himself, he said, what I dance in Dubai. So I want to let you know that songs and music control your spirit and control your spirit. But how much more God could draw his prayer to him? How much more? I want to believe today, if this church never had dancing and worshiping in every different way, Jerusalem style, it would have been, it would have, never second, it would have been one dead church. Get Jerusalem and so forth. I need some guys to come. Give branch come. No, I need some guys to come. Give me I tell you, Every church, even church never have that dancing and that freedom. It would have been one boring church. Everybody come in, all they have to get the same thing, same thing. Where we know never show. You see that's another short clothes all this coming around? Right. Praise the Lord. You see a Chinese not behind there, a Chinese not. A goat is dying there. A goat, a goat not there. You know? Um, is it not a white? Is it not a white boat? Where's your side? I don't like this gun gray. You better put on a white gun gray for you. That is going to keep me back. Huh? That is going to keep me back. That is keep, I'm fine. Clothes keep back a lot of later. Huh? So many clothes that do tie the foot on the gun walk. She said, Prophet, this is too much of clothes now. And he closed down a little piece of it, too much of clothes. I said, What is really less? And you are only that same shop in us, we are dealing with you. Can't just bear a bed sheet and take my mind. Right, Kigan, look, watch out, watch out, watch out, Lord Kigan, bring it. The man pulled out a whole sack like a pillow. <laughs> now she's in your tank. <laughs> she eat just said anyway. This is how she tank about her sacred run with that girl. Yeah, boy. Yeah, think I lost it. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that, man? Just come. Come. <laughs> That's what she up there. <laughs> All of us is a piece of red now. The Trinidad flag. The hair, the hair bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> All of them sit. <laughs> come down, man. Look how she look. I want you to dance. Come. <laughs> Your foot could move, yeah? She full camera. I don't want to eat that You're just watching them pick out them girls and them flipping and then in a piece of street, piece of wood. They did it? That did that? Oh God. The club? Huh? Did you fall off? No, the belly will get. Alright, let's go. The belly, the belly is the whole day.
first of all, we want to thank everybody for making for making this rally a success. Everybody. Amen, prophetess? Everybody, you are, everybody that contribute in whatever way you, you made some contribution. You or your family, I want to thank God for this so much. Go ahead. We just want to thank everybody from within Action Ministry. We appreciate what you have done to make it happen yesterday. Without you guys, we couldn't have it happening. Amen. And it was not for we or for our country, everybody. If we care about the country, and this is what we have to do. We thank God for whatever. You can lose, lose the, the, the next case. Lose this case. Lose that child. You know, all of them should, should be drunk. But. We just want to thank you all for whatever you contribute, all the time, finance, whatever you put in. We just want to thank God for you all, for your support. And I know that um, we make an impact in the community. We stand for love, peace, and unity. Sometimes we had to come out from the four walls of the church and go out there. And you know, let people see that what we stand for. It's all about Jesus giving him the glory, the honor, that people will know that there is someone concerned about what is going on in our country. And even for the people that are suffering, we stand for peace upon your life. So we just want to once more thank God for everybody who was there. We love you all. And whatever you contribute, we just want to say thank you very, very much from the depth of our heart. We just want to thank you all. Amen. And we pray that, you know, and as Brother Rajan, everybody mentioned, everything was a success. Everything was a success. The police officers were so nice towards us. You know, and then we had our own police officers from the church in Kigan and Inspector Gerald. Gerald was there. He came a bit late, but he was around. Then he came to the Savannah. And then we had a soldier from the East, Jamil John. He's a sergeant of police. He was a sergeant in the army. He was also there. So I want to thank God for everybody, you know, in authority. I want to thank God for everybody who was there. Whatever way that you contributed, your support, we want to say thank you in behalf of God. But what we did is not to pick up we. It's for our country and for our countrymen and women and everything. Amen. Where's Giselle? Giselle? Yeah.